Oh, welcome back, everybody. Okay, hi. Where we are going to go into the Chaos Ch Shrine. Chaos Shrine. The um, Shrine of Chaos. I'm going to fight one more thing, and then we're going to go into the Chaos Shrine and see what happens. I'm proud of us, Jacob. I am, too. For getting this far. Yeah, we've accomplished a lot. Yeah, Dr. P, good old Dr. P. You might want to fight some ghouls. They'll build up our... Uh, our strength even farther. There's probably hidden treasure around this place. A black widow. Let's beat the shit out of it. Don't <laughs> let it use its spider nunchucks on us. Made out of tiny spiders. Hey, Kane, <sighs> yeah. I have not told you this or anybody this because it happened today. <laughs> okay. But I was I was eating out today. Oh, uh, and where? It's, uh, it, it was it was just at Subway. I needed a quick meal before I went out and went grocery shopping. Right. And oh my god, no, Malcolm! Malcolm, no! Do we have to go back to the, the yes, church? Yes, we do. Really? Yes. Oh god. Well, let's... Oh my god, he's... Oh, so if you go magic with the white mage... Yeah. You can heal everyone. With cure. Oh. Yeah. So it has to be one of these two, because I can't heal dead guy, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, you, you are down the feet. most, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh god! Uh, I think we're... I think we're in for We should probably flee. Yeah, these guys are pretty damn good. We uh, un under underestimated ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> or we, we overestimated ourselves. Oh, apparently our mages are also shit at being mages, so we gotta go. Well, he just couldn't heal the dead. Oh, he tried to heal fucking P. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, no! What happens if we get a game over? Do we have to start the whole thing? Yeah, we gotta go. Pixie's, oh, fuck. Pixie, but Pixie's strong enough with his chainmail. We can, he can flee. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, boy. How does it decide not to flee? Like it it's did just, last it's time. Like, it's like a chance. Oh, okay. What the? No! No! Go! Leave! I don't, I don't know if there's a way to make it happen faster. Oh, God. I'm so scared, Kane. I'm so scared, too. I don't want to give up all that we worked for. Yeah. All of those... It's okay, Goblins. we saved a little bit before we went out and trained. We just have to train all over again. Oh, so if you save, you don't have to do the entire game over, just back to the last save point? Yes. Oh, thank God. That that uh, really lowers the stakes. The stakes have never been more reasonable. Yeah. Um, why are these wolves so hard to get away from? I don't know. They because are... there's so many of them? I guess. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh. All right, just attack the smaller wolves because I think you can kill them all in one hit. Okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah, take your... And they all take one damage. Well... Okay. Um... I, uh, I like the big one's called a warg wolf. <laughs> warg wolf. Rah! Okay. I think uh, it's because there's so many of them. That's why... Yeah. You can't flee. It probably makes it uh, harder. Ups okay. The chances. We have to flee. In items. The... Items. Do we have any items? Um. We have some potions. What's this do? Restores, Restores 50, 50 hit HP. points. Should we give that a shot or just go in for it and then resave? We gotta. We gotta. We have so much experience we gained. All right. Let's potion it up, baby. Wait. No. Why didn't it? Oh, it needed to wait for my turn in order to use the potion? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Well. At least it's such a calming melody. Yeah. This is what heaven is, Kane. Heaven is just <laughs> this screen. I hope so. Well, guys, that was the end of our Final Fantasy 1 playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, we definitely did. Oh, God, what have we bought? <laughs> did we buy... Did we equip them? Let's find out. Yes, we did. We didn't buy their armor yet. Oh, that's fine. Let's go buy it. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, one of you. And one of you. Yeah. And then we gotta equip it. Equip it good. <laughs> when a problem comes around, you must equip it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've made some shit shitty music puns on this show before. I've made some great music puns on oh, this no. show. You want to put on these other clothes that we took from that guy. <laughs> wanna... uh, we need to equip the rapier to, or the hammer too. Oh, do we not equip the hammer? Yeah. Oh, because I accidentally saved. Yeah. I remember this. Yeah. So we still have to equip all the weapons and stuff and then the staff to the 
Malcolm, Bardo can fuck off because he can't even heal our our ass when we need him to. Yeah, Bardo had Bardo didn't even do that one job very well. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should save again. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. All right. So back to training. Yep. Uh, as I was saying, I uh -huh. was in the subway. Yeah. And a man wheels in a stroller with a small child on it right. and leaves it right next to my table. Like, right next to me. Um, and then he leaves and went outside. Leaves the store? Yes, he just left. Um, and I, I looked down at the, this, like, two, three-year-old kid, and I thought, did this guy just give me his baby? <laughs> did he just give me this child? I, that's really scary. Did you call, the, well, call anybody about that? Well, I looked around... And I went like, oh my god, please help me. I I don't know how to raise this thing. I'm not ready. Right, of course. <laughs> it, can somebody else take this off my hands? And then he came in with a second child, and it turned out he was just doing a... He had to go outside to get the stroller for the other child in, <laughs> outside the store. But there was a good, you know, I don't know, five, six seconds where he was... Just well, maybe gone. a little more than that, where he was just gone, and I thought, oh my god, <laughs> I, I have a daughter. He's like, He's like um, <laughs> what do I do this with this? This guy seems good. <laughs> he seems like he could be a dad. I, I trust him. He gives off a very paternal vibe. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm glad you don't have to father this child. I am I, too. I, I hope that this child, you know, I hope, I hope this guy learns from his mistakes and doesn't <laughs> leave his children places. I hope he doesn't. He learns from his mistakes and doesn't leave his children with me. It'd be a horrible. I'd like, be like five minutes into babysitting. Uh -huh. I'd be like, oh god, I don't know what to do with it. Uh huh. Actually, that's not true. I did babysit for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I. I and you know what? Actually, I was pretty damn good at it. Yeah. Those kids loved me. You seem like a pretty fun babysitter. Thank you. Like a. Uh... I'll tell you what it is. I think it's because you know, to kids, of, yeah. my flaws just come off as quirky. As quirky. And fun. Yeah, so I, they read it not as dysfunctional adult, <laughs> yeah. but they read it as fun uncle. Yeah, I agree hundred percent. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. So my friend, my my really good friend Josh. Yeah, he, he is a kid, and mm. I am a hundred percent set on being that really cool uncle. Yeah, who lives in Los Angeles and like acts and stuff. Yeah, and, like, makes cool videos. So every time I'm gonna come down to visit her, I'm gonna like have like a present for her and, Aww. and stuff like that. I'm just gonna be that cool uncle. That's gonna be cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to become a, an actual cool uncle. With your sister? Yeah, my sister is having a baby here pretty soon. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know this. Yeah. It's uh, it's due like this week, so any any oh, time now. Oh, jeez. Mm hmm Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, there's something fun about being an uncle or an aunt, because you get to have, like, sort of, they, like, the kids look up to you and see you as some kind of authority figure, but you don't actually have to bother raising them. Yeah, that's true. I agree. I have a feeling my brother, even though he's older than me, I'm probably, he's going to become an uncle before me. Yeah? I just have that feeling. Um, do you care to explain? Well, I mean... He just seems like he doesn't want a relationship. Oh, like like he would be an uncle to your children before you were to yeah. his. That, okay, I was like, even, wait even a minute. Even though he's older than me by a few years yeah. and has like more experience than me, he just seems like, you know, when the right one comes, he'll, he'll know, but he's not like... He's, he's not like be, looking. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing quite the opposite, actually aggressively shutting himself inside hoping nobody ever interacts with him <laughs> exactly almost to the point my brother <laughs> sebastian if you're watching this and i know you're not because you don't do that um i don't mean anything harsh right now but he got you on point <laughs> jacob just guessed who you were is your brother Henry David Thoreau during his Walden Pond? Thoreau, uh, like from Super Paper Mario. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he's not. He's uh, well, I don't know. Maybe he's he's more of an a uh, 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 a painter. Mm -hmm. than, oh, okay. Than a writer. Um, he paints some abstract things that are really cool. Oh yeah, is that the one you used in class once? Yeah. Yeah. For those of you that don't know what class I'm talk we're talking about, we had a movement class 
by movement it was like a dance and like physical like posture class to make you better at having a stage presence which is a really useful thing and also to give you knowledge of certain kinds of period dances which is really fun. Uh, I waltzed the fuck out of that waltz. Yeah, so did I. Gigas Worm! <laughs> Gigas Worm! What, uh, who was your dance partner? For the For waltz? For the waltz. Uh, was it... I feel like it was... Tiff! You waltzed Wasn't it Tiff? Tiff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah! I waltzed with Jesse, so... Mm-hmm. We also waltzed the fuck out of the waltz. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. Waltzing is fun. I really like waltzing. I uh, I have really good waltzing feet, apparently. Ooh, okay. What uh, does that mean? It means I the balls on my toes are like really strong. Uh huh. So like I can walk on my tiptoes for like hours. Oh, cool. So like I, because that the waltz is one two three one two three on your toes. Yeah. And well, one is on the flat foot, but and then two three and then two three. So for people. For most people, it's kind of harder to keep on their toes that long. Yeah. But I could waltz for probably hours. Nice. Well, that's not a bad skill to have. Yeah. It's just sometimes my posture gets fucked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is something that I had to work with uh, Mr. Knowles and Ms. Nichols. Yeah. Because my feet are all messed up by dance instructors. (laughs) But they aren't, I mean, they aren't like... Actually messed up. They're just sort of. Well, I have like I, I have a duck foot on my left foot. It's too. They're, it's webbed. No. Oh. And that means it's not aligned with my knee. Oh. Oh. So, so it turns to the left. But only only my left foot is like that. My right foot is well. It's a little bit off. But most feet are a little bit off. Yeah. But my my like my left foot is like significantly off from my knee. I don't know if you can see that. Um. But <laughs> like it's significantly off. I can't quite see it from this angle. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can see it now. Yeah. Oh, are we healing the team? Yeah, well, some people died. The when? goblins. The goblins The, the goblins got them? Yeah. You do... Have you been trying to use cure? No. In battle? No. That'll be a good habit to get into. Whenever okay. you see health going down. And then we just have to go to the inn later to make sure that cure is back up as opposed to paying all this money for the church. Yes. Okay. Also, I feel like I feel like we should address that this church can just resurrect people. <laughs> yeah, death is no big deal <laughs> if you have the right amount of money. Well, oh shit! The, I didn't go to the thing. We're the warriors. Oh god, of they're light. all gonna die. <laughs> I, I forgot to go to the inn. We're the warriors of light. <laughs> <laughs> they just had one hit point. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that resurrecting only gives them one hit point. Look how much money you're making. All right. Yeah, you get lots of money by killing goblins. Are are uh, goblins people? No. I feel like they are. Like if they can think and act and feel, I think that makes something a person. Well, I agree. They're, I mean, in 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 sense of not feeling bad for killing these people mm-hmm. in this game, they're not. But in a sense of actual lore and history and like a world developing, I think they are. Mm-hmm. Um, in most in most situations, like if you were to do like a D and D in this game, they're they're not really people. They're just kind of a picture. Most yeah. monsters in this game don't really have personalities or whatever. Mm-hmm. But in in terms of like if we were doing a D and D, I like to kind of humanize tribes of goblins or yeah. But I mean, I'm just speaking in terms of what the word person means. Yeah. And I feel like the word person... It's not just humans. Extends to, yeah. It's not just humans. Like, it means if you have a consciousness. It's why it's like why I like to call, like, oh, dog thinks he's people. Ah. That's my, one of my favorite things. It's mm-hmm. because he does think he's people. Because he is people. Mm-hmm. Almost. He's almost there. He's almost becoming a person. Yeah. So, let's say that would mean, like, Rocket Raccoon is a person, yes. despite the fact that he is clearly not human. Yes, absolutely. Huh, cool. Um, I would agree with that. Well, on that note, we'll see you next time. Yeah, we'll probably keep fighting some more <laughs> gorblins. Hey, I warned them on episode one. This was one of episode one of like 10,000. Yeah, we might want to do some training off camera or live stream sometime or whatever, but we'll figure it out. No promises to anything. <laughs> Especially not being really good at this game.
See you next time, guys.